right, guys. What we got here. Getting real low. We got new sneakers. Oh yeah. Look at these meat lovers, huh? Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Brandy new. Uh, got a guy that comes and installs them. He's supposed to come sometime today. Hey everybody, it's Saturday. Tires are still there. The guy didn't show up yesterday. Uh, he got hung up uh, on another job. I guess he had a ton of tires to do yesterday. So I can't wait for him today. I gotta go pull some equipment off that uh, foundation job. And get them back here so we get a quick lube on them and then head to the next. So that's what I'll be doing. It's the 160 and the dozer. I'm gonna try to get out of there today. But yeah, tires are still here and hopefully later on this afternoon we'll get them. All right, guys, it's number two back in the yard. And uh, here's the topic of today. Should you charge for mobilization on your own jobs? And the answer is coming up. And I'll tell you why. Binding her up. Try to get in the middle of your pad if you can. Because you, know, you bind here, it can flex that pad. And, you know, not as sturdy. But more binders on each, on each uh, track. Then across the boom, turbo saber on, which I use the concrete boot. Good to go. All right, got everything bound down. Got the turbo saver on. Everything's good to go there. 
get your corners on and your boom ready to go down the road piece down get her unbound down or unbinded and uh, get her off get her ready for a little bit of service go back and get the dozer all right She's on the ground. Quick pressure wash and grease before she goes to the next site. We got a house not about a mile from here we gotta put in. Tricky foundations, uh, real tricky, but I'll show you the prints when we get to that. Don't know when to follow. Do that this coming week or the following week. Um, but yeah, going to get the dozer now and it is hot. Boy, it's hot. I think the whole United States is hot right now. It went from complete hot a complete downpour look at this we got torrential torrential storm just hit swales working good back on site just storm starting to break and get out of here craziness but yeah he's getting his walls up it's looking real good it's working out for him all right let's get this thing loaded Bounce down, chain down, turbo saber on, ready to hit the high roads. Sun's ready to crack, stop raining. So, worked out good. Worked out good. All right. All we got left on this side is the roller and my flotation mats, which I'll grab when I grab the roller. All right, guys. Look at here. Yeah, baby. You can hear the God speaking. All right, so this is why you need to charge for your mobilization on your own projects. All right, take for instance, I just bought these tires, okay? Tires say we're 2,500 bucks, all right? Do I pay for that out of my own pocket or the business expense? It obviously, it comes out of the business, but this is how it gets paid for. Why it doesn't come out of your own personal pocket. So, on average around here a low boy in a tractor trailer gets 125 an hour just a regular truck triaxle gets 85 an hour to bring materials back and forth to a job and say the 
the the truck and the tag trailer right there that you see with the dozer on it uh gets 100 bucks an hour all right so today's little uh mobilization was a half hour each way okay i did it so that equivalent to two hours for the two pieces that's 200 bucks okay you go okay 200 bucks well if you don't figure that in the job okay now we brought the we brought machines there too don't forget these two so that would be equal 400 okay but let's just say for today two to 200 bucks all right now you do that 12 and a half times and those tires are paid for it's done okay so every job obviously the longer you go or the more pieces you got you got it you know you got a prorated it goes more expenses or less expenses but this stuff gets paid off very quickly by charging for your own jobs mobilization every piece that goes on the job is getting paid for for me whether it's towed with a pickup truck uh it's figured in and you know even if it's 75 dollars for one delivery fee but at the end of the year you're talking tens of thousands of dollars in mobilization fees and uh it adds up and like i said it pays for the tires the fuel and if you don't charge for it you're crazy so just uh keep that in mind when you're bidding projects always charge for delivery fees on your own projects and obviously if you're transporting for other people you're automatically charging them but um your own projects you know some people look past that because oh well, i'm making money on the job well you're losing money not getting your mobilization so uh hopefully that made a little sense to you and uh yeah everything's back in the yard besides the little roller off that job and uh we're just going to do a quick service on these and figure out which project we're going to tackle next all right catch you thanks